All right, so here's another video of the car with it off. Um, on the front, full carbon fiber lip. Right there in the center of it is where it got a little bit chipped from the road. Just from driving low. I mean, it is very, very low. So it's gonna happen on it. It's got a couple bugs on the front, but it's overall in really good shape. I mean, it's got a few rock chips and stuff on the front. It's got a little, little scuff right here. And then on this side of the bumper, it's got a little scratch right here. Um, that is an 08 fender. The car is an 09. That's when they did a, a paint change. I could not find an 09 color matched fender. Um, the car caught a piece of tire on the highway and it basically just cracked the fender and a little chip on the door. So it's got another fender here. I've got the, uh, stock fender here the one that was on the car just for reference so i can show anybody that's interested in the car so right there was from the door opening it actually chipped that and that which is why the door has a couple little pieces on it but there right there was a crack in the front from the tire when it went around went around the wheel it actually hit the fender and caused it to crack there so that's why there's a different fender on the car no insurance, anything like that. It was just a fender damage. So that's the, that's the gist of that. Everything in here has been done by myself. Uh, built the motor, forged studded bottom end, LS3 heads. They have been milled a little bit. We have plus two CC forged pistons in it. So we've upped compression just a little bit. It is on flex fuel. Um, there's a sensor there. It runs on 93 or E85 or anything in between. Uh, F35 cam. It's a. Uh, it's basically built for wide open throttle, highway runs. Change the suspension out. You can do drag racing, whatever you want to do with the car. I built it as a fun street car. Does have the nitrous there? Runs into a nozzle underneath the carbon intake. Um, it's set up for a 150 shot right now. Purge lines right here, right at the uh, the windshield wiper. Just a easy little setup. I've got the uh, the fuse over here in the back. It's got the Lingenfelter two-step box with the catch can set up here. Um, brand new alternator on it. Everything on this is basically brand new. We just went through the entire car. Um, I've had the car about a year and a half. When I bought it, she was basically stock. She's had some C7. Z06 rep wheels um, and I was basically it it actually had the carbon intake and uh, headers when I bought it so it wasn't much done to it ended up doing a few things pulled the motor out to uh, do a clutch job notice on the stock motor it had some exhaust uh, oil out of the exhaust ports just a little bit so we knew the rings were getting old so pulled the motor out, tore it down, noticed a little bit more, more damage. So got me a fresh uh, LS3 block and went through and basically just rebuilt the entire engine. Did the forged bottom end, like I said, milled heads, still factory LS3 heads. They're just milled a little bit. Had the valves checked, everything done, everything's fresh. So it's, it's ready to roll for whatever you wanna do. Should support 1200 easy without even breaking the sweat. Um, put the headlights in, those are only a couple months old. It's got the, uh, the C C6 Z06 style wheels. Here's the tires, let me get my flashlight. They've got plenty of tread on them. Like I said, they're not anything special. The, uh, Sorry, it's a little dirty. I haven't drove the car in a little while. It's got drilled and slaughtered rotors with the carbon pads. Uh, here's the Toyos on the back. Like I said, they've only got about 1,200 miles on them. I don't drive this car very much at all. Um, took about six months building it and everything else. She's been done for a few months now. Put the break-in mileage on it, everything else like that. Um, 
Drove it a little bit, did a couple cruises in it, nothing real special. Haven't even really got on the car, to be honest with you, since everything, I mean, just through testing. Did a couple pulls in it, everything was nice and strong. But she runs, she's great at what it does. Everything's good to go. Here's the inside here. It's got the wide band right here set up. It's all routed behind the cluster and everything else. Got the carbon fiber D-style steering wheel. Um, that's a modified stock shifter. It's just cut down. Everything's refreshed on it. Um, I'd recommend getting a different shift knob. It's just a, you know, it's basically the one that came on the car. It's a fake carbon fiber style, but you know, it's never bothered me. This has just been a toy really. It can be daily driven. It's real loud, shakes a lot. Um, there's the bottle right here. We've got the bracket in it. The bracket has not been bolted yet. It's just sitting there fixed where it's at. Um, to mount it, you need to drill four holes and bolt it in. So I can do that this weekend while I'm getting it serviced. Um, I'm actually replacing one of the, uh, the passenger side parking brake cable just because it's old, it's real weak. So I've got a brand new one in the truck over there that I'll be putting on Saturday. Just to go over every little thing and make sure everything's done. So let me go to this side. Don't pay attention to that. That's just from the garage door. It drops a little bit of dust. I'll have the car washed and everything. Here's this side with that fender there. Here's the door. Like I said, all this isn't really that noticeable until you get right up close. It's got a little crack here. A little paint chip in here. Let's go to the body shop here about, I think it was 400 bucks to go through and just glass over it real quick, throw a little paint on it, but it hasn't ever bothered me. It's not a perfect car. It does look good. It does run good, it does sound good. Um, that's the, that's my, my side business per se. I do a lot of, a lot of motor work on people's vehicles, a lot of modifications and stuff. And, <clears throat> but that can stay on the car i'll take it off if you need it off of there little stickers on the the tail lights i could take those off as well um body's pretty well stocked it's a speed engineering axle back with lg x pipe and headers so it's got the, the black inlay here as well let me open up the trunk just to show you back there get this here does have the uh, the privacy cover as well it'll be in here there's the bottom bracket set up there like I said it's not bolted in I didn't really want to bolt it in with you know plans of selling the car just in case somebody wanted to you know mount it farther up if they want to mount in the middle or the back wherever they wanted there wouldn't just be extra holes in the car so that's up in the air if you want me to mount it I don't have a problem with it. I just was kind of leaving that for whoever was going to get the car and keep it. That way they could mount it wherever it was going to be convenient for them. Um, and on the, the vinyl roof on the top here, it's it's not perfect. I mean, it looks good. It's starting to, starting to have a couple little places where it's starting to peel up. Right here, just a little bit there. Overall, I mean, it looks good. It's just, it's dirty right now from sitting in the garage for so long. Right here is where it's starting to bubble. Probably heat it with a heat gun and they'll probably lay it back down. But on all these cars, wrapping them right here is a tight spot where it's got to be pulled over. And a lot of times these like to lift after a little bit. So this has been wrapped uh, probably about eight, 10 months ago. Like I said, it stays in the garage. My garage is not heated or cooled or anything. So that's probably why it started lifting a little bit. But overall i mean here's the car man like i said the uh, there's a couple little spots on the hood where the panel bond comes through silver and white especially are the worst ones to to get it there's a little spot there i'll lay this down so you can you can see it's not real noticeable a lot of people don't notice it but i do i notice everything so there it is with the hood down i've got a i don't have it latched but certain lighting you can see it right there and then you step over on the other side, you didn't see it. On this side, you see it. So it's one of those. 
I thought about wrapping the hood black, you know, kind of with the top and everything else. But like I said, I'm I'm ready to move on to something else. Get, you know, something more of just a, a standard vehicle, you know, something nice interior and everything else. But getting out of the fast cars and everything else like that. So it uh it kills me to sell the car or trade it off, but uh, it's built to handle anything and built to be a pretty rowdy car, so definitely be a fun one to enjoy but yeah here it is so if you got any other questions or any other concerns or anything like that just message me you know i, I like to be as transparent and upfront about every bit of it as i can be so you just let me know if there's any questions or anything that you've got and i'll try my best to answer any of them that way you know everything about the car before you even come to see it so